So you want to deploy new services across your network, but it will cost you up to $1,000 per site to do so? That cost can keep going up when deploying across dozens of sales offices, stores, and clinics, and can quickly become cost prohibitive to implement any new capability. Hi, my name is Matt Lambert, Access Routing Engineer. This is a Cisco Service Ready Engine Module, or SRE, that can be installed on several of Cisco's integrated services router Generation 2 units. Together, this combo can bring service deployment across small or large networks back into the realm of affordability. The SRE future-proofs your network by allowing you to quickly deploy new branch office applications and operating systems without deploying new hardware, ultimately reducing the cost of rolling out new advanced services. Essentially, the SRE enables on-demand provisioning of remote office applications so you can deploy the right application at the right time in the right place with minimal operational cost. Here we've pre-installed an SRE module in an ISR 3945 router before deploying it at the remote office. By doing so, we now have the flexibility of deploying a wide range of applications and services right on the router without ever touching the box from anywhere in the world. I'm now going to show you just how easy it is to deploy a new service on this remote machine. First, let's load the Cisco application extension platform on our SRE. AXP is a Linux infrastructure that allows customers and partners to deploy custom services directly on the router. From my desk, which could be thousands of miles away, I can issue a command to push out the new operating system. No one at the remote site needs to do anything, since the SRE is already in place. Even better, I don't need to deploy yet another server out at the remote site to run any of these typical branch services, minimizing the number of devices to keep down the network complexity, equipment costs, not to mention energy consumption. Cisco Configuration Professional provides an intuitive, graphical way of doing this, but for anyone familiar with the Cisco IOS command line interface, this is a single command to upgrade our remote SRE module. The system has asked that I confirm this request, and now the operating system is loading. We can now see the status of the upgrade from within iOS. We can also session directly into the SRE module to watch the install as it progresses. The whole process takes about 15 to 20 minutes with no user intervention required. Before the SRE, you would either spend hours on the phone walking a novice through the steps to deploy or face what is likely a very expensive truck roll. Now I have a fully functional Linux OS with the AXP framework running. I can go on to install a customized AXP application or use the SRE for typical branch services such as DHCP, DNS, print services, or file sharing, anything that can be provided by a typical Linux server. Now on the same ISRG2 on that same SRE module, I can repurpose that slot for an entirely new service. Perhaps our team has decided that video surveillance is a priority for all of our offices due to security problems we've been having. With the SRE module already deployed in our 3945, we can install the Cisco Video Surveillance Management System across all of our remote offices. Here again from my desktop, I can simply push out the application to this router and all the other sites. I'm now confirming I want to overwrite the SRE with video surveillance, and the application is now loading. Now that I have video surveillance running, I can see what is occurring at each of the remote sites, and I never left my desk. Now that we have the Cisco Video Surveillance Operations Manager installed, we can see what's happening remotely at the branch. The SRE 900 has up to a terabyte of video surveillance storage, giving us weeks of video recording. That's great for allowing us to go back in time and see what happened at the branch to really catch them in the act. The Cisco ISRG2 is like no other router in the industry. It has the performance and flexibility to run both Cisco applications and third-party customer operating systems, which can be easily deployed remotely. This flexibility allows businesses to immediately change and adapt to business priorities quickly, allowing the IT team to scale the network, keep the remote sites productive, and still keep down costs. Thanks for watching.